With your first news at 10 sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Well, two teams in the Division A state basketball tournament come from towns that begin with the letter K. That's Kildare and Kindred. They also happen to play each other in the quarterfinals. It's the Cowboys' first trip to a tournament since 1953. They are the eighth seed while the Vikings are number one. Kindred also happens to be the only undefeated team in the class. Kindred trying to make its 24th straight victory. Second quarter, Jacob Starcevic with the steal and the fast break, and he will thunder to the bucket as Kindred's lead goes to double digits. Later in the quarter, it's Nikori Dalen getting the steal and going in for the layup, but look at the block by Starcevic. Cowboys recover, pass out to Cooper Bang, and he rattles in the three-pointer as the underdogs are trying to stay in the game. A little bit later, it's Starcevic again sprinting across the court. He goes to the alley-oop and look at the ninth grader, Brooks Bako getting up to slam that one down. Probably the dunk of the day as Kindred takes it by the final of 65 to 41. The four and the five seeds are Delax Burlington and Shiloh Christian. Off the tip of this game, it went to Shiloh and the ball ends up into the hands of Wyatt Weston and then it ends up going through the basket for the game opening three pointer. The Lakers also have some solid shooters. They're number three for a three. That's Braylon Fisher who cashes in DLB by one late in the frame. Shiloh Christians, Caden England with a close shot. No good. Devin Davis, second chance, no good. Third attempt now, Isaac Emmel, he misses, but finally Tristan Grease gets it to go in as Shiloh Christian dominated the second half and won it 74 to 54, a 38 to 22 uh, scoring difference in the second half. The Beulah Miners took the first two quarters by one point each, but it was the third quarter that did the Miners in. Grafton outscored Beulah by 13 points in that quarter as Kyler Droog set, uh, led all scorers of 25 points. Miners had some balanced scoring, four guys in doubles. This is Champ Hedick who had 11, but again, the Spoilers owned the second half and won the game. The final was 84 to 66. The Miners play tomorrow afternoon now. In the opener at the Fargo Dome, Devils Lake was led by Wiley DeLorme. The Firebirds take care of Valley City by 17 points. North Star is the number one seed in the boys B tournament. The Bearcats have one loss this season, but they entered state on an 11 game winning streak. The Lobos from Lemoore LM are going for the upset. LLM keeping it close thanks to a little deep ball here from Max Muslin, their best player. It's the spot up three pointer from way downtown, but the Bearcats well, they have a well-balanced offense, and that includes this guy, Dane Hagler. He leads that offense inside, muscling in, scoring the two. On the other end, it'll be the Rebels trying to hold their own as that eight seed again. Brian Carlgaard with the turnaround jumper. But when you have Hagler on your team, uh, most of the time you come out in top. Hagler with a breakaway as uh, he goes in and will slam this one down as North Star slams the door on the Lobos by the final of 52 to 38. Bishop Ryan is right across the street from the dome parking lot. The Lions against Char Sargent County. They had the Jet Lundeen and Ramsey Walls show going again. That's Lundeen hitting the three and feeling it early. And then Sargent County looking to spoil the night here as Luke Martinson would score it. But Bishop Ryan would start to pull away. And again, Walls on a backdoor pass to Lundeen as Bishop Ryan wins it. 58 to 44 was the final. The Bulldogs of Bowman County are the number two seed. They won for the first game of the day against another Minot team. That's our Redeemers. The Bulldogs were solid from behind the three point line. Once again, Bishop Duffield hitting three of his 16 there. His twin brother, Bowden, game's leading scorer at 26 points. His Bowman County's defense was tough again today. They only allowed 42 points and won by 13 over the Knights. The Bulldogs will face the Sioux from West Hope Newburgh in the semifinals tomorrow. Walker Broughton had a double-double in that win over EKM.